Back on these brake cams, I didn't record putting this one together because it took me a little while rounding up parts and doing special work with torches and stuff trying to get uh, rust parts out that were rusted shut. Anyway, it's going back together now. Everything is, is on its way back together. There's the new cam. It's installed. There's the, um, the hub. The bearings have been washed out. By the way, these bearings were full of paste grease, the thick heavy axle or, or uh, bearing grease. Um, I'm guessing there was a grease seal leaking at one time and they didn't want to change it. They just packed the bearings with solid grease, put it back together. Um, well, we're going back to liquid grease. These bearings, the whole hub has been washed out on the inside. There's no grease in it. The bearings have been washed out. They they're um, inspected good. They're riding and they're pretty smooth. New seal is in it. Did not do that on video, but I will do another one on video. I got four of them to do here. Anyway, I think I got video on taking this apart. This was last week when I took it apart. And um, I had my cams in an awkward position to put the brake shoes on, so I brought this wrench down here to adjust it. Let me show you how quick that cam turns when I when I uh, use this power wrench on that thing there. That's probably about where I want it. I think I want it just a little bit tighter because the brake's going to sit right here. I'd rather it sit inside this a little bit more. I want to be on the lowest part of the cam. It just makes it easier to uh, put everything together. <coughs> I'm going to pop those brakes off of this. Put new brakes on three of these positions. This one didn't get it uh, when I was at work. I, I uh, saved that one to do it here. But then this one here, I keep hitting that zoom button. This one here, we just put new shoes on it, put the old drums back on because we couldn't find new drums. Well. I got the new drums. There's one there. There's one here. Um, I'm going to take these shoes off, put them on here, and then we'll go ahead and put that hub on there and put everything back together. Put the wheels on this and then I can take the jack out from under that. Okay, these smaller springs. I want to say on the back, because on the truck these are always in the back, but they're in the front here. Anyway, opposite side of the cam. Just pop these springs off with a screwdriver. I might need a hammer to push it in there. There it goes. On both sides. And then just flip the shoes right over. Well, make a liar out of me. It's stiff. There's not much room underneath the trailer here. There it goes. While we got this side off, I'm going to change these pins over here, those anchor pins. I already changed them on this side.
Now this green spring right here, I'm tapping with my foot. You want to try to get that in the center of this hook. It's got a little, little place there for it to go. It'll go off to the side if you don't watch it, but that's okay. Once you get it in there, you look for that, and you can just shove it over with a long screwdriver and pop it into the center. And you want it like, like that on both the top and the bottom shoes. And I don't know if it matters if the hooks are facing in or facing out. I just get them on there. Get the top one in. Well, now I do need to adjust this a little bit, maybe. Well, maybe not. Yeah, need to adjust that. I need to turn this, this cam to, to the left a little bit. See if my springs are in the center. It is now. Put new brakes on, make sure these the paint didn't stick. Get these things stuck inside. Make sure it's freed up. This one is because it was already in use. Now some people can get this thing in here with a screwdriver, a bet screwdriver, and I got a tool I can do that with. Um, on car brakes, but not on these. They're, I'm sure to make a tool. I got a pretty healthy grip, so I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this tight, push it down with my hand. It's kind of dangerous because if you slip your grip, you can cut a chunk of meat out of your hand. And I'm just going to push it down and hook. Whoops, it was in there and it came back out. I'm going to do the same thing on the back side. Just pulled the last hub off, and well, I yeah, I took the nuts off. This one had liquid oil in it instead of of the the heavy grease, and I'm just letting the bearing sit in here. I'll look it over before I put it back in, but I don't have to wash that one out because of the liquid grease. Um, let's see here. This. I still have to clean. This one had the seal. This one had everything done to it that I'm doing, except it was done in a sloppy way. And um, I got to clean all this off again and put a new seal on it again. And uh, same thing with the cam here. Straighten that out. And this cam, I'll probably save it and stick it on one of these back ones. Okay, the brake shoes on that one were cracked really bad. And I have to replace them. So here's the brake shoes that were on that. We're not allowed to have these cracks like that and that was on the side where you can see them. So I'm gonna, the shoes that were on this this one here, I'm gonna take those shoes and that drum and put them over here. But I've got to try to do a little bit of repair over here before I do that because I do not have the time or the parts to redo this axle like I'm doing the other ones because this axle is going to be up in the air almost all the time. I'll hardly ever let it down. That, that's a tag axle that goes up and down. So we'll have four of them completely redone. It's been taking me about one day each wheel 
to do because of all the extra work involved since they didn't do any maintenance on it for so many years. But this one did have something done, but it, uh, it was a sloppy job. So anyway, uh, I just, the hub, you know, didn't slide off because it's got that new kind of seal on it. We're going to replace it anyway. It didn't slide off that easy, so I had to just hit it from the back with a hammer, you know, hammer like this a couple times, and it came off. So let's go ahead and pop this seal out of here. I got the, a drain pan inside that drum, and this is just dripping in that drain pan. make a tool especially for this if you do or somebody that's going to do this on a regular basis once a month or so or more might be worth getting the tool but I don't do it that often so I'm not going to get it and this bearing here the rollers are in pretty good shape everything feels pretty smooth so we'll just clean up the outside a little bit and put it back together. I have this hub ready to put the bearings back in it and a seal. I got this edge where the seal is going to go all polished up. Uh, first I scraped it. I forgot that I wasn't doing it on video. I didn't realize that. I, and I, I only got one more left to do, and if I miss that, I won't have a full video. Anyway, I used a scraper here and cleaned the rough part of it off, and then took a few pieces of sandpaper and just kind of went around in there and cleaned it up. Well, I dried it out with the uh, brake cleaner after I scraped. After I scraped real good in here. Well, first, I got in here with just handfuls of well, one paper towel at a time and scooping out handfuls of, of uh, grease and filled up that box there with paper towels and you see it's pretty clean in there now. Uh, I mean, you clean yours as clean as you want it. Uh, the cleaner this is up here, the better your chances of, of your seal not leaking. Anyway, it's also, you can tell if your bearing race is still in good shape. I cleaned the bearings. Now since these bearings were in solid grease, I had to clean them a lot worse than you do if they were in liquid grease. But I just got a pan or a little uh, ice cream tub there of um, diesel, of uh, this off-road diesel that I got in the parts washer. And wash these bearings and nuts for the uh, lock nuts or whatever they are. Got that all ready to put in. Uh, you're supposed to uh, put this bearing in grease. The diesel fuel is really not good enough. I'm supposed to uh, put some uh, bearing, not the thick bearing grease that was in here, but the liquid or the semi-liquid stuff. I'm going to put that on and then uh, put the bearing in here and then put the seal on. I got a drain pan underneath this drum that this is sitting on, a pan just like this one here. 
I got one inside the drum underneath there so some of this oil is going to pour out and that's okay sorry I don't use gloves I'm old school they didn't have them kind of gloves that the techs use. I was a mechanic, I was never a tech. See the oil is all coming out on the outside of these rollers there. And wipe that bearing race real good. And that is the bigger of the two bearings. Don't oil up the smaller one. Don't oil up the smaller bearing until you're ready to put the, the hub on on the truck or the trailer. Okay, this seal is uh, it's kind of like a two-piece seal. It's really it's one unit, but it's two pieces. Integral. The um, outer part here, kind of, I'm gripping it, and it turns around here, it turns on there. But this part here stays put inside this bore here, and then this part here is going to the inside part is, is going to be snug tight on the uh, axle and, it, and the only part that spins is this right here this spins here and that's your that's supposed to be okay like that they told me that that's how that one works it's new to me but they said that's how that works now I like to take just a little bit of a lubricant that will dry just something to help get the thing on there and wipe a little WD around there that's not going to stay wet just to help get this thing on that's just my preference I don't know they don't tell you they, they tell you not to use lube when you put it on but it's better if it has a little bit of help going in now this is my steel seal installer. It's a block of wood, and um, but I got on my way just starting in there. I got to be careful that one side doesn't go down more than the other. Okay, this here actually says air side right here. It's written in there. Air side that means the outside. So I'm just going to kind of watch underneath here. Okay, this side went down, but it didn't go down too far, so I still can. Okay, it's not a recessed seal, so it does, part of it does stay outside a little bit, so it's down all the way, even though there's about a sixteenth of an inch sticking up over this, it's in there. This is ready to put on the truck, on the trailer, I mean, 